Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Master Media. So the reason I'm making this video is a lot of people have been approaching me. Someone found in episode 14 what looks to be Goku's spiky-haired Super Saiyan form. People are saying that this is his true god form and it was already revealed when he fought against Beerus. So the guy who found this, his YouTube channel name is Cigar V. And, uh, you know, while it's kind of interesting, I'm going to debunk it because I really don't believe it's true. But people have been tweeting me like crazy. They're like, oh, my God, have you seen this video? Like, we've seen it before in the anime. And I, to be honest, I really don't think so. So I'm going to try and debunk this. But, you know, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure that I can debunk it. It may be true, but I seriously doubt it. And here's why. First, guys, please do not go over to this guy's YouTube channel and, and attack him or hate on him or anything like that. He's just a fan, and he's just putting something together that he found. So please, you know, do not attack him for putting out this video. He's just, you know, he's just trying to make a Dragon Ball video. He's a small YouTuber, and, you know, honestly, props to him for finding something like this and making the community think. I think it's really awesome that, you know, people try and make other Dragon Ball fans think about things like this because we're all hyped up about Goku's new form and everything but this is just kind of my response to this whole theory because a lot of people do think this is true so let's get into the evidence to say whether or not that this is true is it actually Goku's new form his true god form so in this episode, Goku has already been fighting against Beerus for a long time, and he is completely exhausted. He's at the point now where he's Super Saiyan God, but he's in his just base Super Saiyan state, and he fires a Kamehameha against Beerus's energy. So when their two energies clash, it creates this giant mass of energy. And basically, the Elder Kai is saying that that mass will evaporate anything that even comes near it. So Beerus raises his wrist and he flicks this energy sphere at Goku and Goku's really surprised and Goku basically tries to catch this thing. So he puts his hands on it and then like his hands start getting consumed by this like God energy and everything. For a very, very brief moment, Goku turns out of Super Saiyan and it looks like his hair is black with the Super Saiyan hairstyle. And people are thinking that this is the same Goku that we've seen from the Limit Breaker Goku with his shirt off at the Tournament of Power with the title The Work of God Ends Here. So, I mean, it does look pretty similar. And people are arguing that Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue are not the true Super Saiyan God. And that when Goku is pushed to his limits, when he's fully able to master God Key, he will obtain the uh, you know true Super Saiyan God. And that's what his new form is going to be. And at this particular moment, Goku was pushed past his limits so much that he actually ended up briefly transforming into his new God state. Now Beerus asks Goku, aren't you at your limit yet? And Goku just says, shut up. And then he punches this energy ball and it explodes in the sky. And you can also see this kind of like uh, his skin tone changing, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be from that evaporation that the Elder Kai was talking about. Goku's hands and his face are starting to melt from grappling onto this giant mass of energy and he's able to explode it and then i guess he heals um he was able to heal earlier in the episode from beerus burning his hand and basically he calls goku like a patchwork super saiyan god because he keeps healing himself but you guys got to remember that goku has been fighting beerus for a very long time and he's very exhausted and it's not uncommon we have seen it before we have seen black hair in the super saiyan hairstyle a few times in dragon ball z this has happened to Goku when he was either turning into Super Saiyan or out of Super Saiyan and his hair remained black uh, in the Super Saiyan hairstyle for just a little bit of time. So we've seen it before and it even makes a sound effect when Goku is grabbing this massive energy and his hair turns black. It makes the sound effect that he's turning out of Super Saiyan. <laughs> So nothing special happens after this. That's pretty much the end of the fight. Goku is completely exhausted and all of his power is gone. Meaning it's pretty much common sense that at that point he just ran out of power and he used his last tiny bit of power to stop that massive energy sphere. So we've already gotten a little piece of evidence with the whole chocolate revealing that that could be Goku's new form with red spiky Super Saiyan hair, meaning that the Limit Breaker image we saw is probably mid-transformation. That's not the actual full uh, super, new Super Saiyan God transformation out of Goku. 
I'm fairly certain that he's gonna have red spiky hair in the Super Saiyan hairstyle, and that black Super Saiyan hair that's spiky is just kind of like how he builds up to this new transformation, meaning that Goku didn't uh, actually transform into this final true god state uh, in episode 14. Dragon Ball Super doesn't do too much forward thinking, and I highly, highly doubt it that the writers were preparing for 100 episodes later that this was not Goku's true god form all along. You know, regardless of the fact that they literally just gave him God form for that fight, I highly doubt that they showed us a glimpse of two forms ahead uh, of schedule and were preparing for this 100 episodes in advance. I highly, highly doubt that. They just gave Goku his new God form, and I highly doubt that they're going to skip two levels and show us a glimpse of that so early in the series. That's like showing us a glimpse of Super Saiyan 3 after Goku had just turned Super Saiyan, like Super Saiyan 3 in the Frieza saga. You know, I, it just, I don't think that that's True. Now, the other thing that I ha kind of have to debunk here is that in Cigar's video at the end, he switches from the Japanese anime and then shows a clip from the Battle of Gods movie in English. So they're actually not the same clips. And he says, uh, Beerus asks, you know, how did you do that? And Goku says, I don't know. And so here, there's two problems with that. One, um, it's the English dub. The English dub, they change the script and you cannot rely on the English dubs as a source of verifiable information for the series. And number two, that's not from the same clip. So in episode 14, Beerus does not ask Goku, how did you do that? How did you dispel that energy? Like, how did you pass your limit or something like that? Goku is basically knocked out at this point and he just falls to the ground and Vegeta catches him. Now, one point that I could actually side with Cigar on here is something to do with the Hakai energy. Between this and between the time that Goku was hit from Sidra's God of Destruction energy uh, in the same episode with Golden Frieza, you know, that could have something potentially to do there. Like, so a lot of people have been theorizing that. Um, the new true God form has something to do with all the Hakai and all the God of Destruction energy that Goku has basically been like hit with uh, over the, the whole series, right? And I guess that is a pretty good theory. Like it could have something to do with that because like I just refuse to believe that Frieza could break out of the Hakai energy and Goku couldn't. I almost like have to believe that Goku was just like eating it on purpose, but I could be totally wrong there. That could have just been the writers doing their thing. Long story short, guys, I'm pretty sure that that was not Goku's new form in episode 14. I don't think they're thinking that far ahead. He was just turning out of Super Saiyan because he, it was his last bit of energy. And the th story, the things don't really add up and make enough sense for me to believe that Goku was able to break his limit even further and ascend to the you know true God form for just a second. Um, and then he just gets knocked out. I mean, I could kind of see something like that happening in the Tournament of Power because Goku has come a really long way, but this was from the very beginning of the series, and I just really don't see them showing us a glimpse of this, the new transformation 100 episodes to come. I mean, they probably don't even know if Dragon Ball Super is going to last 100 episodes at this point because they're trying to judge how well the series is going to do. It's doing incredible in Japan, so you know now they want to give Goku a new form to keep up the hype and keep people interested in watching and everything like that, but back then... I mean, if Dragon Ball Super, you know, got pooped on like GT, they probably wouldn't keep producing it. So I don't see them planning 100 episodes in advance. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Leave your comments below and shout out to Cigar for putting together this video. It's still interesting. Uh, it still raised an eyebrow from me and for everybody else who's been pinging me on Twitter. Here's my answer to this theory. All right, guys, I will talk to you later for another Dragon Ball video. Peace.